and welcome to the CATIA Assembly with Constraints lesson. In this lesson, you'll learn how to assemble a planetary transmission while demonstrating different constraint types. To start, open up a new assembly. We're going to rename it by right-clicking on Product 1, going to Properties, and over here, naming it. Okay. We're going to start by inserting the four planet ring retainer. To do that, we're going to right click on transmission, go down to components, existing component. I'd like to insert this. Now our first step is to position it using the compass into a view that we would like. In this case, I'm going to rotate it about 90 degrees and going to do it just a little ways there. There we go. Next step is to use the fix command, clicking there and then just clicking on it. That holds it in position for the rest of the assembly. As you can see, if you open up the constraints, the fix has now been added to the assembly. Next step, we'll insert the outer ring gear. This time, we're going to use this method. Insert existing component. We're going to need to put that into a general position for our assembly placement, so we'll click on there. Move it out here a little bit, over there, and a little rotation. Now that it's about lined up, we're first going to use the coincidence constraint. In this case, it's going to align their center lines. With a circular shaped part, by just clicking on the circular profile, it highlights the center axis of that part. Be that axis and that one. Now they're aligned. We can mate the faces. We go to contact and select that face and that face. It automatically snaps into place. Now we're going to add the four planet carrier. I'm going to use this one this time. And click on product. Double click. Now use the 3D compass to move our part. And again, use the coincidence constraint to lock it into place. This time we're going to use the offset constraint because we know that the front face of this needs to be even with that face there. So by clicking offset, offset that face and that face. So you can see it's a 1.546 right now. You can change that by just going zero, clicking OK. Now they're right in line. As the constraints start piling up, the assembly will get a little messy. So to clean it up, expand the constraints click on the top constraint then press and hold shift and click on the bottom constraint right click and select hide now we're going to insert the 18 tooth planet gears to do that we're going to right click components existing component 18 tooth planet it's right back there going to move it to the front. Now because we need four of these for this assembly, we could either go through that process again, or a simpler method is to select the part, go to copy, and then select your product, go to paste. Now we have two. Do that again. Paste. Paste. We now have all four of our 
gears. Only problem with that is each time they get pasted, they're pasted into the exact same spot. So to move them to make them more visible, click on here and drag them out of the way. There we go. Now we can see all four. Again, we're going to use the coincidence constraint by aligning their center lines with the whole center lines. There we go. Now they're all lined up there, but not along this face. We're going to use the offset constraint again to offset that face from that face. Right now it's at 0.417, so just set to zero. Drops it right into place. Do that with the next ones. There we go. I'm going to clean that up again using the same method as before. Our last step is to insert the center gear. Or the sun. There we go. Lastly, we'll move it into place again. select our two axes and our two faces using offset. There we go. We now have a completed assembly. However, if you'll notice, some of the teeth don't align perfectly. The assembly toolbar does not contain a constraint that can mate gear teeth so that you'd be able to rotate it and see the gears move. For that, you'd have to use a different workbench. But for the sake of this, we can either use the manipulation button or we can just select right at the center, click on our part, and rotate it into place. Same can be done for any of the other ones, such as this one. There, now we have perfectly aligned teeth. That concludes the CATIA assembly with constraints lesson.